Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, this video actually caught my attention. The first time I saw it, I was like, I need to check it out. So this is gonna be, no one will remember the Quran after this. I think it's after Jesus comes the second time, but let's go straight into this. Sahih Muslim reports from Abu Hurairah that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah will send a wind from Yemen that is softer than silk. That shall not leave anyone that has an ounce of Iman in his heart except that he shall pass away. Peaceful death. Hadith is in Sahih Muslim. A wind will come from Yemen. Beautiful, fragrance, sweet. It will be gentler than silk. And when the people smell it, if they have Iman, they will die a peaceful and natural death. And if they don't have Iman, they're still going to be there. Jayid. Now, what do you think is going to happen when in the whole earth, nobody of Iman is left? What do you think is going to happen? This is what our Prophet ﷺ said, that after this point in time, idolatry will return to the Arabs. And by Arabs, he meant the children of the Muslims. Because when you said Arab back then, you meant a Muslim as well. That, and he mentioned specific tribes. And he said the women, their bodies will be doing tawaf around the tribes of the ancient. And the people, he said, will become worse than baha'im, worse than animals. And they will copulate in public like donkeys. That's what the Prophet ﷺ said. That might happen. Now, this hadith is mentioned as pre-qiyamah and as also end of Qiyamah. So Allah knows best. It appears that there will be a time where Fahisha will be prevalent even before the Mahdi. And then there will be a time that will become even more prevalent before the actual trumpet is going to be blown. Now, if there are no Muslims, what will happen to the Kalima? What will happen to the Salah? What will happen to the Quran? What will happen to all of these? Abdullah bin Mas'ud said, a time will come, a night will come, that the entire Qur'an will be taken back by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people will wake up and the mushafs will be blank. And there will be no one with the Qur'an in their hearts. This is a report in Musnad al-Darimi. In another version, he said to his students, make sure you read the Qur'an before it is taken away. The students said, Oh teacher, these mushafs, how can they be taken away? And as Hufad, how can it be taken away? And Ibn Mas'ud said, A night will come when the Quran will be taken away and nobody will remain who can recite a single verse. And they will even forget La ilaha illallah. And they will speak the speech of jahiliyyah. Means they're going to talk the fahisha, vulgarity, evil stuff. And this is when Allah Azza wa Jal's statement, وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ تُكَلِّمُهُمْ أَنَّ سَكَانُوا بِعَاتِنَا يُقِنُونَ This is Surah Al-Naml verse 82. This is when this statement is going to happen. What is this statement? It, it talks about the beast. And we'll talk about the beast inshaAllah. Definitely not today. We're going to get to that, inshallah, in our next class. In another version, in another version, uh, Ibn Mas'ud said that the Quran will be taken away in one night, in one night. And not a single verse will be left in the qalb of any servant. And not a single mushaf will remain with the speech on it. And the people will wake up like animals. Now, it is pretty obvious, therefore, that you put the previous hadith and this one together. The day that that wind blows is the day the Quran will be forgotten. Not forgotten, but gone. And even those that had memorized some surahs or verses, but they weren't mu'mins, they will wake up the next day and they will remember nothing. And the physical printed mushafs, they will become empty. Nothing will be there. What will happen to the kalima? Sahih Muslim. Anas ibn Malik said that the Prophet ﷺ said 
لا تقوم الساعة حتى لا يقال في الأرض الله الله This is Sahih Muslim Qiyama will not take place Qiyama will not take place until no one says on this earth Allah, Allah. Think about that. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. Qiyama will not take place until nobody says Allah is gone. Wal'iyadu billah. When will that happen? Obviously after the wind comes. Hudayfat ibn al-Yaman said, Yudrasul Islam. Islam will be wiped away. Darasa yudrasu here means to wipe away. Just like a garment that is continually worn is worn out until no one will know what is siyam and what is salah and what is hajj and what is sadaqah. Subhanallah. Salah is going to be gone. Sadaqah gone. Hajj gone. Everything gone. Islam will be wiped away until no one knows what anything is. And in one night, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be wiped away as well until not a single ayah remains. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Inna fi thalika la ayatin wa in kunna la mubatalin. Thumma ansha'na min Guys, I enjoyed this. I don't know, I'm feeling tense on how about, like, let's go back. And he said that a wind will blow as soft, softer than silk, and it's going to take away all people who want, who have read and memorized the Quran. But in the Bible, it says that Jesus is going to come back. It says Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. No one will expect the coming. But the signs will be there. But no one will know the time Jesus will come. But let's go back to this. Um, I, I just saw this now. It said, worship Allah, back it alone. You have no other God than him. You know, I asked a friend of mine and me and her were actually conversing and she was like, she was trying to explain some stuff to me and she was like, but you know we worship only one God. Now I was like, what about the Trinity? She was like, the Trinity is just the about deep down we know is God, then Jesus is Son and the Holy Spirit. But like, it's not that we consider them as God. You know, God, the Father, is the only God we have. Then I was like, yes. We understand this was what I know. Like, this is what I know. But I, I knew about the Trinity. I knew about the TV in one. But if you think of it, I, I feel the Trinity, we call it TV in one, was not what the person that, that actually did it intended to say. Because there was a book when I was reading the Bible, I saw when Jesus himself said, Before Abraham I was. And Jesus claimed to be there in the beginning. And if you read the book, like if you read the Bible, Jesus says, like the what Jesus said, the red test, you see that Jesus was actually claiming to be there before he was there. So like you kind of know you kind of try to get where the Christians to go before because if you understand it, you was trying to say that he was there before Abraham. And I believe Abraham was the first prophet. So if you think of it, he's been there, guys. But then when I think about what I said, guys, don't you to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.